Hey there guys, this is a tutorial that kind of talks a little bit about um, the actor not in world error that a lot of students tend to complain about. Um, I am just using um, the Cannonball tutorial that I had done um, in class before. Um, I've added on to that a little bit to include um, to include some uh, little extra features where the when the cannon hits the target, the target moves to a new location. So when looking at this, I'll kind of show you what the, the error is. If I press run, okay, oh, all of a sudden it stopped. What's that all about? And it says, actor not in world, an attempt was made to use the actor's location while it was not in the world, okay? Either it has not been inserted or it has not been removed. So we can always use these little links here to click on to see where the heck the problem is. So when we click on this, oh man, it looks like it's trying to do this, but it says something about the ball no longer being in the world. So if we look closer at the ball class, we've got the hit target method that's called first in the act method. And when it hits a target, what happens is it checks to see, or not even when it hits a target, it always checks through the act method it checks to see if it's hit, touching a target. If it is, then it sets the target's location to a new random location within the world. Okay, that's all good. And then it removes the ball object. So we know that the ball object's being removed there. Now, the big issue is that the next thing that's supposed to happen is that the ball is supposed to be moved based on its location. Um, or sorry, rotation and set, set off based on its direction that it was given at the when it was created. Now you're thinking, okay, but the ball's been removed. What does it matter? Green foot always ends up finishing whatever is in the act method before it stops. So if you've removed a ball and hit target, and you have move ball here, and it still needs to compute this, we're going to have an issue. But see if we say replace that we paste that there okay we even rearrange the order let's compile it okay we'll get rid of the old errors by going option clear so there will be no errors in the terminal window and let's try it again except this time you'll see okay I move and I hit a target and it should be okay Okay, so no errors, I'm still able to move, but watch what happens when I hit the edge of a world. Another error pops up. So now if we look at the code again, okay, the act method, it moves the ball based on the direction. If it hits the edge of the world, okay, it removes this object, but it's still got to compute hit target. So what can we do about this? What we can do is we can create a boolean variable that will destroy the ball only when it, we want it to be destroyed. So we'll say private boolean destroy ball. Okay, and in our constructor, we'll set destroy ball to equal false. Now, what we're going to do down here. Okay, is we're going to say if it's at the edge of the world in move ball here, if it's at the edge of the world, destroy ball equals true. That means yes, we want to get rid of the ball, it's time to destroy it. And we're going to do the same thing in hit target. So we're going to change it to destroy ball equals true. Now, of course, this isn't actually going to move the ball itself. We've just created a variable that that kind of keeps track of whether we need to remove the ball or not. So if we head back to our act method, the last piece of this puzzle is actually removing it if it is needing to be removed. So we are going to create a method called destroy. Now let's put private void destroy. And we're going to say if destroy ball equals 
true. So double equals, of course, to check to see if it's the same as what we're checking it against. So if destroy ball equals true, get world dot remove object this. And you can see I place destroy right at the end of the act method, so that's the only place that a ball is removed from. We'll compile that. And let's head over here and try this again. So we're running. Okay, hits a target. Okay, all good. Can I hit the wall? Perfect, I can hit the wall, I can hit a target, and I have no more actor not in world error. So that kind of concludes this little tutorial. Um, remember, these variables, those Boolean variables, that doesn't tell the computer to destroy the ball. It basically keeps track of whether or not we should be destroying the ball, and then we still have to destroy the ball ourselves. Okay, hope that helps.